You mentioned celebrity ownership somewhere in there, so let's talk about Inner Miami. We got David Beckham going on Sports Center, dropping names like Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, talking about his pitch to come to Miami. Uh, and instead, they brought in Ryan Shawcross and Kieran Gibbs. Mm, okay, um, on top of that, they're really struggling with basic math. They got four designated players. We know yeah. that the league rule Ooh. is only three. Is this the worst run expansion team in MLS history or just since Chivas USA? Oh, you took it from me because it can't be in MLS history because you have Chivas USA and Chivas USA was a train wreck uh, on all fronts. They, they are still being sued to this day. Uh, so <laughs> they're one of the worst for sure. But it's because of what they said they were going to do. Their, their self-imposed expectations. Listen, Sebastian Salazar, Hercules Gomez, Alejandro Moreno, and, and the crew of ESPN FC did not come here and say, they are going to sign global superstars. They're going to be the super club in Major League Soccer, a model for success. We didn't say that. That was Jorge Mas and that was David Beckham. And what happened? They gave you Rodolfo Pizarro and Pellegrini, who on a global scale, scale are unknowns. Uh, one could argue that Rodolfo Pizarro was on the outs of Monterrey and not even starting. And then you bring, bring in Plasma Tweedy and you bring in an aging Gonzalo Higuain. Uh, that's four, by the way, and you mentioned they could only have three. So you cheated in that term or in that sense, and you didn't get results. Uh, you brought in Diego Alonso, who you th said was going to be a attacking presence, an attacking, attacking mind. And those of us who have covered him in Liga Mekis know he's a second-rate coach, Jose Mourinho, and I say that with all due respect. <laughs> he's a defensive-minded coach. So it's been one promise after the other that you've not delivered. And now we have this hands-on approach from David Beckham. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down. Settle down. 11 changes, a lot of them championship-level players. We don't know how they will adapt to what is Major League Soccer. A brand-new coach who, by the way, happens to be David Beckham's best friend. <laughs> Did he get that on merit? Don't think so. Mm. Will he be good? Don't know. All signs are pointing to no. Uh, Herc, real quick, since Inter-Miami does open up against the LA Galaxy, give me a quick over-under on Chicharito goals. I'll set it at 15. Over and mm. barely. Uh, Javier Hernandez will benefit from Greg Vanny and what Greg Vanny does in Major League Soccer. He sets up a very good system. It is very clear. The roles are very defined. And he seems, if you've been drinking the Kool-Aid like Sebastian, Sebastian Salizar, like you have, I know you've been keeping up with social media, <laughs> he looks fit. And if he's fit at 31 years of age and he's motivated, you can't tell me if he has service, he won't score goals. I think he'll have that service. I think he'll get his quota of 15-plus goals, but just barely. Don't expect Slatan-esque numbers. Hey, don't expect Charlie Candle-like numbers either. Eric, always good to be with you. Again, the MLS season kicks off Friday night for us on Sunday. It's the big one, Inter-Miami against the LA Galaxy, Sunday afternoon on ABC and, of course, available for you on ESPN Deportes. You want to hear more from her and some other guy named Sebi, you can catch out the Football Americas. We're live on ESPN Plus Mondays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, available for you on demand after that. Speaking of great content on ESPN Plus, we've got our 2021 MLS preview show. That is up now. Check it out. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.